Good morning, everyone. This is Haral Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 30th of uh, November. OPEC, deal or no deal? Today, the main event will be the highly anticipated OPEC uh, meeting. Heading into this gathering, there, is, there still appears to be high disagreement as to which member states should cut and by how much, which casts uh, doubts over the likelihood of a sealed deal. Iraq and Iran, OPEC's uh, second and third largest uh, producers, respectively, have displayed a continued reluctance to commit to any cut, but occasionally expressed some optimism with regards to the prospect of an anchor. Another hurdle towards a meaningful deal, we think, is the fact that OPEC members would now have to cut their output by more than agreed in Algiers in order to support prices, given that they are currently producing at higher levels than they were back then. In addition, the cartel has a long history of not abiding by its agreed quotas. In this regard, we believe that uh, for a material deal to take place, any cut would need to be accompanied with strict country-specific quotas and a mechanism to ensure such quotas are upheld. This combination is possible to lead to a sustained rally in oil prices, but we remain skeptical on whether a long-term healthy uptrend could be established, as that would probably invite U.S. Uh, shale producers back to the market, which would in turn increase supply even more and thereby cap any further price gains uh, in oil prices. We assign a low probability to such a concrete agreement and we consider it much more likely that uh, the cartel will agree only to freeze or to deliver a small cut. In such a case, we could see a relief bounce in WTI, but uh, we doubt that this would lead to, sus to sustained advances. Should OPEC fail to deliver anything at all, WT, WTI prices are likely to correct sharply lower as investors scale back their expectations for a swift uh, rebalancing of uh, the market. We believe that uh, WTI is possible to fall near the key support territory of uh, 43.20 in the aftermath of uh, such a disappointment. If uh, the bears are strong enough to overcome that hurdle, we may experience gradual extensions towards the psychological zone of $40 per barrel. As uh, for today's economic uh, data, in Eurozone, the preliminary CPI for November is due out and expectations are for the bloc's CPI rate to have risen somewhat further. Given that the German CPI rate for the same month remained unchanged, uh, though missing expectations for, uh, for an increase, we see the risks surrounding the forecast as uh, skewed to the downside, perhaps for an unchanged CPI rate for the block as well. If so, this could bring the euro under renewed selling interest. In the US, the ADP employment report for November is coming out just two days ahead of uh, non-farm payrolls. The forecast is for the private sector to have gained more jobs than it did in uh, October. Although the ADP print is far from a reliable predictor of the NFP number, it could still raise speculation that the payrolls figure may also increase and perhaps meet its forecast of 174k. We also get personal income and personal spending data for October and expectations are for both to have accelerated. Given that these indicators are expected to show that the US economy continues to be robust, the dollar could come under renewed buying pressure at these uh, releases. From Canada, we have uh, GDP data for the, third, for the third quarter, but we believe that cut traders will likely have their gaze fixed on the OPEC gathering, given that uh, Canada is the world's, uh, the world's uh, seventh largest nation in order of oil production. Besides the various OPEC officials that are likely to comment throughout the day on how the negotiations are proceeding, we have one more speaker scheduled for today. Fed uh, Board Governor Jerome Powell. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.